Hello, everyone. In this session, I want to talk about transforming XML data in SAP ABAP. Uh, so there are quite a few ways in which you can transform XML uh, documents. Uh, one of the th uh, common methods is the call transformation. And in this session, I'll be talking about how to use the call transformation. Uh, so this works with both the simple transformation uh, and also the XSLT. Uh, and what it allows you to do is it allows you to transform ABAP data structures into XML data and and vice versa as well. Uh, so the basic syntax is uh, very simple. Uh, you call the tr call transformation function module. Uh, you pass in the source. You pass in the result. And uh, you also have uh, the options parameter as well. OK, so let's have a quick look at uh, the simple transformation. Uh, so the simple transformation, uh, this is an SAP proprietary technology. Uh, and this allows you to transform data between ABAP data structures and XML. Uh, and this is uh, tightly uh, integrated with ABAP programming language. Uh, so what you can do is uh, you can create a data type, uh, and then you can bring in that data type into your uh, simple transformation uh, XML document. Uh, and this is a straightforward, a very simple way to serialize and deserialize the ABAP data structures. Uh, and because uh, of its simplicity, uh, this is uh, generally faster. Uh, but the drawback is uh, it can be used for simple transformations. Uh, if you have to do complex transformations, uh, then you would have to go to the XSLT. Uh, now, the XSLT transformation, uh, this is a standard language. Uh, this is not uh, SAP proprietary language. Uh, this offers, uh, of course, a high level of uh, flexibility and power. And because of that, uh, it is a little bit slower if you're going to do simple transformations, uh, but it is more suited for advanced transformations. Uh, so these two transformations, the simple transformation and the XSLT transformation, uh, you can use either one of them uh, when you do the call transformation. Now, there are other ways as well uh, with which you can transform XML data. Uh, so here you have the class uh, XML document and the class XML element. Uh, these are part of the uh, SAP ABAP library, uh, but this uh, requires manual coding. Uh, so I'm not going to be talking about it, but I'm just giving you the various options available. Uh, and uh, the use cases, if you want to have uh, more control over the XML content, uh, then you would use uh, these uh, classes. Uh, there is also the the uh, CL SACS parser. Uh, so this allows you to do event-driven parsing. Uh, and because it allows you to do event-driven parsing, uh, you can process a larger XMLs. Uh, so you can, uh, you can emit an event uh, for each uh, uh, node element or so. Uh, and then you also have SAP also provides uh, uh, the uh, web services framework. Uh, this can be used to handle XML-based web service requests. Uh, now, this abstracts most of the XML handling. Uh, and uh, so the developers can work directly with the ABAP data structures. Again, this, is, uh, uh, this option is uh, available, and you can directly use if you're using uh, SOAP requests and so on. Um, now, you also have the PIPO which can be used to do complex XML transformation. Uh, you have the SAP gateway uh, uh, that can handle XML data formats uh, in the context of uh, service-oriented architecture. So these are some of the different uh, types, that, uh, different uh, ways in which you can transform XML data. Uh, but what we will talk today is uh, this uh, call transformation. Now, like I mentioned, uh, we can start with the simple transformation. So in this session, I'll be talking about the simple transformation. OK, so let's uh, get started. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my uh, uh, SAP S4 HANA system. Uh, and here, uh, I'm going to look at a simple, very simple structure. So SC11, I'm going to go to SC11. Uh, so I have a structure called ZS person. Uh, so if, you, if I display it, uh, it only has uh, two fields to it. Uh, so there is the name field, there is the age field. Uh, it has a character, and it is an integer as well. Now, what I want to do, though, uh, is uh, I want to go ahead and uh, use this uh, to transform um, an uh, 
uh, structure into uh, into XML. Uh, so for this, I need to create the simple transformation. Uh, so I use the transaction code S trans. Uh, and once you go in here, uh, you can go ahead and create one. I've already created this uh, simple transformation, but I'll show you how to do this. Uh, so what you can do is uh, uh, let me go into the change mode. Uh, so this is my simple transformation. Uh, but when you create it, uh, this is going to be fairly empty. Uh, you may have the root element, but otherwise it should be fairly empty. Uh, and what you can do is uh, there is a graphical wizard right here. Uh, so you click on this uh, graphical wizard. And uh, like I said, uh, you won't have this uh, person entity right here. You will only have the root uh, when you first create it. Uh, so right click on this root and say insert new root. Uh, so what you want to do is uh, you want to insert this uh, structure that you have just created. Uh, so in my case, uh, I can give any name I want. Uh, so I can give the name person. Uh, and then you also have to give the type. And we have uh, the structure that is called ZS person. Uh, of course, I've already created this, uh, so I don't want to create it again. Uh, but this is how you would uh, create this uh, structure right here. And once you create this, uh, you will get this uh, structure right here. And what you can do is you can simply drag and drop it into this uh, simple transformation. And you can see that it will have uh, the person element, the name, age, and so on. So all you have to do is uh, drag and drop. Uh, so this uh, allows you to create the simple transformation. Uh, so if I cancel this, uh, so you will have the code automatically created uh, because uh, you have done this uh, using the visual uh, designer. Uh, so now you have the now that you have the simple transformation, uh, all you have to do is uh, write a simple program. Uh, and for this, uh, let me go ahead and open up my Eclipse IDE. And let me go ahead. Uh, so I will create like a simple class uh, that will go ahead and make use of uh, this uh, simple transformation that we have just created. OK, so I have this simple class right here. Uh, so in the simple class, uh, right now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and transform the structure uh, into an XML document. Uh, so I have a structure defined uh, with the type of ZS person, and I have a value for this uh, structure as well. Uh, now all I have to do is uh, call the transformation method. Uh, so I do the call transformation, and I pass in the uh, a simple transformation that I've just created. Uh, so this is my simple transformation. Uh, so I pass in the name of my simple transformation. And also then I pass in source equals uh, person equals LS person. Uh, so what you need to do is make sure that uh, this person here uh, matches uh, uh, the person here as the root name. Uh, so if I go into this uh, uh, edit simple transformation, uh, make sure that it matches uh, this uh, value right here. Uh, so you pass in person equals ls uh, person. And the result, uh, we want it to be in a string. Uh, so I've uh, defined a string here, lvxml. Uh, so this is uh, going to go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and transform this uh, structure uh, into an XML document. And I'm just going to output this XML document. Uh, so if I run this, uh, so if I go ahead and run this as a console application, uh, you can see that I have a name as a John Doe and age is 30, and so on. So this is my structure. And this got uh, converted into an XML document. Uh, next thing what I want to do is I want to convert an internal table uh, into an XML document. So this is just a structure. So that, that's just one row. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to convert an internal table uh, into an XML document. Uh, so for this, again, I'm going to use the simple transformation. Uh, so in this case, I've gone, gone ahead and created another simple uh, transformation transformation. Uh, and this is uh, underscore two. Uh, let me go into the change mode. I've already created this. Uh, so here, uh, what I have uh, done is, again, uh, when you create it, it's going to be empty, right? Uh, so this is going to be empty. Uh, go into this uh, edit transformation uh, graphically. Uh, and again, you won't see any of these two things right here. Uh, you will simply see the root. Uh, what you want to do is uh, right click on the root, uh, insert new root. Uh, and you would do the same thing uh, here. I will give persons because it's uh, going to have uh, multiple uh, rows. Uh, and here you want to select the line type. Uh, so because this is going to be a line, uh, it's going to have multiple lines. Uh, and then here you 
provide the name of the structure as well. So you do something like this, and then you say, okay, in my case, I've already done this. Uh, so then it will create uh, these two structures under the root, and what you want to do is you want to drag this person's onto the site, and you will have uh, something like this. And if I cancel this, and if I go to the source code, uh, it would have uh, created the source code, uh, something similar to this. Now, what I want to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, go ahead and uh, uh, uncomment these lines of code. Uh, so where's my source code? And I'm going to remove the comment for these uh, lines. And I'm going to go ahead and activate it. And now uh, what I have done uh, is I have an internal table of this uh, type of structure. And I have uh, some values here. There are two rows, uh, John Doe and Jane Doe. Uh, now, if I go ahead and run this, uh, so if I go ahead and run this as an ABAP application, uh, you can see that uh, I have the structure here. Uh, so this is from the previous code. And then here you have uh, the internal table also converted into an XML document. OK, so now that I have uh, the uh, XML document, uh, what I can do is I can convert this back to an internal table as well. Uh, so if I go ahead and uncomment this uh, line of code, uh, so let me go ahead and uncomment uh, this line of code. Uh, so here, uh, I'm going to take this uh, string, uh, which is the XML representation of the data. And now I'm going to convert this uh, back into uh, an internal structure, uh, internal table. Uh, again, my source XML, I pass in this uh, string right here. And result, make sure you pass in persons. And LT underscore persons is the um, uh, internal table. So now if I do this, if I go ahead and run this, uh, let me go ahead and uh, uh, let me go ahead and uh, uh, activate this. Uh, let me go ahead and run this. Uh, so I'm going to go to run as uh, ABAP application console. And you will see that it should go ahead and uh, give me the internal table. Uh, this is my structure. This is my internal. Uh, this is my uh, XML representation of the internal table. And this is my internal table itself. OK, thanks, everyone.